All right, here's one. Tales from the Cinema. I was once at a screening for Lars von Trier's film Antichrist in 2009. At a, a very specific scene in the movie involving a pair of scissors, I became aware of a man sitting with his wife two rows behind me and across the aisle, promptly on cue standing up and vomiting a red substance all over himself and, uh, you know, the seats around him. Uh, his wife kept saying, are you okay? Are you okay? I think maybe his name was Harold. Probably not, but let's say it was. So she ushers him outside and I hop up and I'm thinking, oh my God, this guy's dying. The movie killed him. So I run outside and, and, and he's sitting on a bench in the, in the hallway. And uh, I, I ran up, up the stairs to the lobby of the theater and I grabbed the first 15 year old I could find who happened to be the manager. And, and I said, Antichrist just killed a guy. And he looked at me with a cold, blank stare. And I said, you might want to call an ambulance. And he continued to look at me with a blank stare. So I, I went back downstairs, and at this point, the guy looked like, you know, grim death sitting there with his wife patting his head, but he was alive. Looking at his shirt, I realized that the product of his vomiting was most likely red wine. And uh, I said, is he okay? Does he normally not do well with blood and gore on screen? And she said, he's a doctor. And I thought, Lars von Trier is the Antichrist. <laughs>